What's up YouTube, Sweatpants Joe here, coming at you from my apartment in Southern California's beautiful San Fernando Valley because I'm not a Carpathian. John Cena. Today I've got the John Cena Elite. The new Elite from John Cena, the Series 10 Elite. I think these are Target exclusive. And uh, so, story behind this, the backstory. this is how John Cena dressed in his debut. And uh, they also recreated this at last year's WrestleMania. That's why he comes with the, uh, the current John Cena head and the Vince McMahon doll from Bray Wyatt's Firefly Funhouse, the, the, the Funhouse match that they had. So that's the story behind this. Extra head, it even comes with a microphone, so that's kind of cool. You can make him talk into the mic. I'll, I'll probably just, uh, I don't know what I'll do with that mic. Um, and he comes with the hands. Um, yeah, he's got the you can't see me hand for both hands. He's got gripping hands and he's got fists. So there you go. This is quite a bit of stuff. Quite a bit of stuff that comes with this John Cena figure. It's almost like an Ultimates figure, if you think about it. Because they come with all that, that extra shit. And, uh, like the microphone and the doll and... Like, th th this this is a bargain. At $20, bargain. This is a bargain figure. You're getting a lot for your money with this John Cena figure. Let's open him up, and uh, we'll check him out. I don't know why I always try to, like, preserve the box when I open them up, because I just throw the box out anyway. But... Let's read the back of the box before I really start opening this up. You see the other wrestlers from the wave on the back. Vader, which I also have. Brutus Beefcake, which there will be a chase figure of. And Diamond Dallas Page of... Uh, that is the... Um, it's not a bad thing. It's a good thing, Diamond Dallas Page. Which... That gimmick just didn't get to take off because he got hurt. But I'm looking forward to that figure because I want short hair Diamond Dallas Page. Like, that's how he's looked for the last 20 years. And I need a short hair Diamond Dallas Page. And I do Diamond Dallas, I do DDP yoga, DDPY. So to me, Diamond Dallas Page has short hair. Here he is out of the cardboard box, John Cena. It's a cool figure. I like the... I, I'm glad that they came out with this figure. I'm glad they made an elite with this outfit on, his original debut outfits when he wrestled Kurt Angle. They should have had him beat Kurt Angle, by the way, that show. That would have been dope if he would have just like beat him with like a small package or something, and then Kurt Angle would have got pissed and like they could have had like a little program after that. That would have that would have been really cool. But I think it all worked out for John Cena in the end, so I don't think he cares. So here his uh, the the modern head. John Cena, well, you know what? I will take pictures of this in the light box and post it after. I already know what I'm gonna do with this, uh, this Vince McMahon doll. He is not gonna go with this John Cena. He is going to go with a Fiend or a Bray Wyatt figure. But th this, is a this is a really cool little, little extra. Yeah, this is a really cool little extra. I like it. Microphone. So interesting, interesting microphone. I'll, I'll show you guys something. It still has the scratched logo. They haven't used that logo in a while. Mattel hasn't updated their, their paint. They haven't updated it. It's still the scratched. They don't do the scratched anymore. Come on, Mattel, get with it. Get with it, you guys. If you look in the corner here, you see their logo is no longer scratched. It is no longer a scratched logo, but on this microphone, scratched logo. Now that could be because when he made his debut, they were still using the scratched logo and he was like, I've got ruthless aggression. But I don't know, Mattel, if it's supposed to be the WrestleMania match, John Cena, you should have the current logo. Logos aside, still a cool figure. And here's John Cena out of the package. Um, yeah, this is a really cool, very young likeness of him. 
I don't know how they they had his arms all cockeyed in the package like that. Um, I have to bend them better. But there we go. There we go. There we go. That works. So then you can have them up and you like, you know, you can't see me. You can have them like that. You can't see me, which is how, probably how I'll have them posing. I'll have them. You can't see me with somebody else. Um, it's the elite. So it's got the standard elite articulation um, bends everywhere. You know how the elites are. You guys know what how the elites are. You're not going to be surprised. It's not like he's got like some weird articulation that you've never seen before because it doesn't. Like if you want his hands to be all jacked up, you could do that too. But yeah, standard articulation for John Cena. Head head swivels, it turns around. It's, you know, it's John Cena. You can't see me. So there I did the head swap. That's how he looked at WrestleMania when he wore this outfit again. Current day John Cena with the longer hair and the side part. This is, this is your wipeout host, John Cena, um, in his original wrestling trunks, uh, where he had ruthless aggression. But yeah, it's a, it's a cool figure. I, I am a John Cena fan. I like John Cena. This is kind of a neat figure to have. I'm going to probably pose him with the original head and uh put them on the shelf that way but this this is a cool figure it's a historic figure really if you think about it because that's how he looked on his debut and then after his match the undertaker who was the champion at the time was like oh good, good job kid and uh yeah this, this i i like this figure and i remember that match i remember watching it when it happened and there was a buffalo bills offensive lineman named john fina and he had just retired the year before. So when he's, this guy's like, I'm John Cena. I'm like, oh, is it John Fina? No, it was John Cena. And uh, who knew that John Cena was going to be the next biggest star uh, since, you know, The Rock and Stone Cold and all that. And nobody had, a, nobody had a career like John Cena, like the length of his career where he was on top, performing at a high level for like a decade. That That's just... He was the man. John Cena, he's still the man. He's still the man. Now he's just the man in Hollywood. He's going to be the villain in the new Fast and the Furious movie. So that's going to be cool. But right now, I'll just go back to his roots and get the prototype John Cena figure. He's really dope. And uh, he's got other hands. Like I said, he's got the uh, you-can't-see-me hand. He's got the gripping hands. And he's got the fists for both hands so i might pose him with the fist let's let's just do that let's take out let's take out his left hand pose him with a fist that way he could do the you can't see me in the five knuckle shuffle but another thing you got to remember was he wasn't doing you can't see me yet that that was like later on so maybe you don't want to pose him doing you can't see me but there we go he's got a fist He's got the You Can't See Me. It's John Cena. I really like this figure. I thought they did a great job. They always do a great job with the Elites. Um, some are better than others. This one's one of the better ones. I like it. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys on the next review. Please like, favorite, subscribe, do all that stuff. Tell your friends. Tell your enemies. Tell everybody about my channel. I'm trying to grow this channel. Um, you can find me on Sweatpants Joe Eats and uh, watch me talk about food. That's, that's a lot of fun too. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time.